This video provides a virtual tour of the Virginia Canyon Road from Idaho Springs, Colorado to the Clear Creek Gilpin County line. We'll start in the town of Idaho Springs at an elevation of roughly 7,100 feet above sea level and head north up Virginia Gulch. A 1965 vein map by R. H. Mensch et al. of the United States Geological Survey has been overlain over the terrain model. We'll be alternating between this map and the Google Earth imagery throughout this tour. Notice the numerous veins as shown by the red lines. For example, this particular vein is the Edgar, host to the Colorado School of Mines Underground Research Facility. Vertical shafts and inclines are shown by black diagonally half-filled rectangles. The road that continues up Virginia Canyon is locally known as the Two Brothers Road. We'll be making a hairpin right turn to continue on the Virginia Canyon Road, which is an obvious misnomer since we're leaving Virginia Canyon. The country rock is made up of Precambrian gneisses, migmatites, and granodiorites. These metamorphics have been intruded by porphyritic tertiary dikes and plutons, including bostonites, quartz monzonites, granodiorites, and hornblende granodiorites. The Y shaped black symbols designate horizontal adits or mine portals. The mineralization within this district occurs as mesothermal sulfide veins within fault zones. Munch split these veins into pyrite, pyritic copper, pyritic lead zinc, and lead zinc. Although all four types of veining contain gold, the pyritic lead zinc are the most prolific. As we follow this stretch of the road, we'll be crossing over the bullion, kangaroo, and metropolitan veins. The interocean vein is now paralleling the road immediately to the left. We'll cross over the casino vein three times as we round the nose of this hill. At this point, the Argo, a 48-mile-long haulage tunnel running north-south, is directly below us. Locally, this route is referred to as the Oh My God Road, a very appropriate name, especially during the winter. At this point, the Seton vein is underneath the road. Now we'll cross the Pattern, Little Emma, and Brighton veins. We're now traveling directly along the axis of the lead belt vein. According to Munch, the Clear Creek County production from this district exceeded 1.8 million ounces of gold, which translates to $2.3 billion at today's price of $1,300 per ounce. 
The road is now paralleling the Comstock vein to our right. The district began with gold placer mining in 1859 along Chicago Creek. Underground mining soon followed and lasted until 1918 with a subsequent resurgence between 1932 and the end of World War II. Today the mines serve as metamphetamine manufacturing facilities and murder victim repositories. We'll pause at this vista to point out the Bald Eagle Vein, Mine, and massive tailings in Virginia Canyon. We turn back to the north and continue. We're now crossing the East Lake Vein, which turns into the Bald Eagle Vein to the south. As we cross the Bellman Vein, we're also directly above the Big Five Tunnel. We're now crossing over a bifurcated tertiary quartz bostonite porphyry. We are now in a saddle to the northwest of Puabic Mountain. Our elevation is roughly 9,600 feet above sea level. We end this tour at the county line, looking northward from Clear Creek County into Gilpin County. Beyond the horizon are the towns of Central City and Blackhawk. Thanks for watching.